Hi, this is Greg Newton with the channel Into the Raw, which is all about being your realest self, which is where it's at, because the realer you get, the better things get. And in this video, I want to talk about the topic of being triggered or coming across something that makes you feel discomfort or irks you. So let's say, for example, you're getting older and you're worried that time's running out to have kids and then someone on Facebook posts a picture that they're having another baby. Or if you just got cheated on in your relationship a couple months ago and you're watching a movie and the main character cheats on his wife. In these cases, typically our heart races, discomfort kicks in, and of course, what do most people do? They change the channel. They turn the page. They shut it out. A second approach that we're seeing more and more in our culture is that we lash out at the person or the thing that's causing us the discomfort. So we try to silence whatever it is that's given us these uncomfortable feelings. And yet, a better way, a better approach to this for those of us on the growth path is to actually do the very opposite of these and instead welcome and roll out the red carpet for these triggers, just for the sake of our own growth. And one reason why I'm actually recording this is because I went through this myself for the past few months. I would be reading these books where I'd come across a passage that irked me and I would just glaze over it and move on. And then I came across another one and again, and I'd see these themes would just keep coming back and again and again. And finally, I just sort of caught myself doing it. And I started the practice of taking these things that made me feel uncomfortable and putting them in one notebook dedicated for this and just collecting all of these things. So I'd sort of come across a passage that irked me and I try to drill down into the essence of what is it there that's really causing the pain and the, the suffering. And what I found was that I got a ton of growth from this and I just transcended all of these issues that were irking me. And I look back at the earlier pages in this notebook and just almost laugh at these different themes or ideas that once chewed me up with stress were now just nothing, didn't even cause a blink on the radar. So three big ideas that I learned from this process of doing this for many years that I wanna share in this video is one, if something triggers you, it's your stuff. A lot of people in this world don't take responsibility for being triggered. They think that it's the idea or the person or what's being the content that's irking them is that's the problem. It's got nothing to do with me. But of course, the opposite is true. There's something very valuable within that if you're getting triggered by it. The second big idea is that the stress is not going to go anywhere. It's going to keep chewing you up, keep grinding you up emotionally until you finally deal with it. So you can deal with it now or some elusive time in the future or never. But of course, for those of us on the growth path, now is the best time. The third big idea, which is the most important, is that it's just not that bad. Just like in The Wizard of Oz, there's this big scary image on the screen that once you actually drill down and examine it and pull back the curtain, you realize what's really behind that. And people who've never actually looked at their stuff before are typically terrified by it, which is why they believe these thoughts in their heads and they avoid it. But if you go through the process of actually examining what's there, reaching the other side, you realize that it's not that bad, that stress is really born out of the unexamined. And it's the things that we got mixed up and confused about is not necessarily true. So if you do it again and again, you just realize that it's not that daunting and it gives you the inspiration to keep doing it again and again and lean into more of these things that are stressing you out. I find amusing that in this world, there's so many people that spend so much energy avoiding their triggers, whereas these days my practice is to actually do the opposite and seek them out. So this is the message of this video in, in essence is instead of wrapping duct tape around that which triggers you, give it a microphone, put out the red carpet for it. Drill down into the core essence of what is causing you that stress and then just write it down, put it in one place and investigate it, lean into it. Treat it as your homework, these things that irk you for as someone on the growth path and watch as, the, as you systematically transcend them and you grow by them one by one. So that's it. Bring on the triggers. Embrace your triggers. I'm out.